Uh, you get traded. You spoke on it uh, to Detroit. You teamed up with Grant Hill. Um, for people that don't know, obviously injuries derailed his career, but how special was Grant when Grant was healthy? We ain't got no time. Mm. <laughs> we ain't got it. He was cold. He was cold, man. He was like, <laughs> cold. you know, because he, he was unselfish, man. He was like LeBron from the standpoint of he could handle the basketball. He would look to make plays for others, but he could, he could score at will. He could, you know, he couldn't really keep him in front of you. Um, off the bounce, he could go out and down in the post and, and play. Um, if, and it was probably the only weakness that you probably would say about Grant uh, was, was probably defensively, mm. right? Was, and then at the end of his career, he goes to Phoenix and he becomes a defensive stopper. Yeah. So, you yeah. know, when you look at his body of work, man, mm -hmm. um, if, he, if he wouldn't have got hurt, and I think that played a, you know, a big part of us kind of, I mean, we were, we were on our way, right. you know what I'm saying? I think we were probably one of the best tandems in the mm -hmm. league, you know, behind, you know, Scotty and, and, and MJ at mm -hmm. the time. But I think some, you know, I got to read this book. I got to get, get this new book and kind of, you know, get the story on why did he really leave? Why did he go to Orlando? But I think, you know, there were some other things in there as far as his wife and some opportunities that he could have for mm -hmm. the big picture of, of his family. Um, but, you know, man, it, it was definitely, but, you know, but it was cool. I had a chance for that one year to really explode, you know what I'm saying, and mm -hmm. show that I could, you know, lead the team, You're you know, here. on my own. You know, yeah. we, um, you know, put up, you know, almost 30, 30 a game, you know, mm -hmm. in, in his absence. I feel like I had to, you know, take on that, that load. But quickly I found out that I needed more guys, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I think it, and, and I, so I, my scoring average, you know, Rick Carlisle came in and he was like, Stack, you know, I need you to be a decoy. I mean, everybody knows that you can score 30. I need you to take, you know, score 25. I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? At first, and then he was like, you know, um, we want to put you in more pick and rolls. We know that we're going to trap you. And then, you know, they're, we're, they're going to play four on three on the other side and we're going to win. And, you know, it took a little buying into it, and, but, you know, I bought into it and we did. We mm -hmm. went from 32 and 50 the year that I averaged, you know, almost 30 to 50 and 32 when I averaged 24. Mm -hmm. So, so it's like, so it's like, you know, sometimes, um, you know, less is more. Yeah. And then I think that ultimately, you know, and that's my message again, when you talk about all the coaches that I played for, those are situations and stories that I can, you know, reflect back on mm -hmm. when I'm talking to a guy about, you know, being a little more selfless and, and, and how we can gain as a whole from, from, from that approach. I mean, this is something else you could talk to him about. Uh, players in the 2000 average 29 plus, Shaq, LeBron, KD, Kobe, AI, D, uh, D Wade, T Mac, and yourself. Mm -hmm. What do you think when you hear that? I told you, couldn't nobody stop me. I already knew. You know, so it, was, it, so it was like, man, I already, you know, I had, I had 20 before I got off the bus. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So <laughs> just, just can I just start there. Well, yeah, when, when, when this other 10 gonna happen and how it's gonna, how it's gonna come about. But no, it was just, Man, it was a fun time when you look at those names and you, you see your name amongst that. But again, uh, for me, and ultimately to, to win, Winning. that, you know, I had to, I couldn't stay where, where they were at those numbers. I had to give a little more, I had to get more assists. And, mm -hmm. and, and ultimately, um, after I left Detroit, um, you know, went to Washington, got to Dallas, you know, and was able to, you know, get with Dirk and, and, and have probably the best team that I ever played on. Um, there, um, you, you really saw it. You know, I mean, that was a, that, that finals run that we that, that mm -hmm. we had, man. That was by far of uh, you know, and I probably averaged probably one of the less amount of my years, probably 13, 14 coming off off the bench. You know, mm -hmm. that was you know Nelly, that was my, my my man. I didn't know how we were even gonna kick it. I heard it. I was just kind of passing through, but so. Nelly was like, he came to me like Stack, you a starter but I can only start five guys, but you're going to play starter minutes and you're going to be there at the end of the game. That's all I need to hear, coach. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, Nelly, he was, uh, he gave, turned it over to, to Avery in the year, but man, it was just just fun being able to play with, you know, a, a, a nice, you know, our bench. We, you know, we, we were the deep. ones that really first started that bench mob with that was Jason Terry and, mm -hmm. and, and all those guys. We were all coming off the bench. 
uh, Mike Finley and all those guys, they, they were starting. But, man, can you imagine what practice looked mm, like, though? War. That's oh, back when was, we really used to practice. I mean, oh, the man. second unit used to beat the first unit in a lot of, in a lot of different teams. What? Right? Like, you know, and, and it was just about competitive. It made the game easy. By the time we got to the games, uh, you know, they were easy because we were, we, we were battling in practice every day.